All right. What is going on? Happy Saturday, everyone. Um, we're going to give everyone a, a couple of minutes to join on in here before I start today's uh, Facebook Live event. As you guys can tell from the title here, um, 100 plus ways to promote your cleaning business uh, to get more clients in 2022. I'm going to be covering a little bit more than just 100 plus ways, um, because to be quite frank with you guys, there are not 100 plus ways that I'm going to be covering in today's live. There's about 20 um, different ways to really promote your business. But these 20 war thing are, are things that we have done, clients of ours have done, and people that we know have done within their cleaning business that's gotten a lot of success, right? Um, could I have sat here and made up an extra 80 that could be potentially, you know, efficient and effective for your cleaning business? Yes. But I know 20 plus the stuff that I'm going to be covering in today's event is plenty for you guys to be able to actually go out there, take massive action on the things I'm going to go over to promote your business and actually get results, right? So everything that I'm covering in today's Facebook live inside the scale and cleaning business, Facebook group. Um, have generated clients either for our clients, um, our coaches, or people within our uh, Facebook group, either that's private or public, of course, you guys here. Um, my biggest belief is everybody on this live today do not lack the action taking um, in regards of habits and, and things that you need to actually do to be able to succe succeed, which is action taking. Everybody on today's live, I do not think, you know, lack that at with uh, at any moment or any bit. But what you guys are coming to today's live uh, to get is knowledge, experience, exposure to, to ways to promote your cleaning business so you can take that and go and take massive action to grow your business, okay? If I can go over these 20 um, ways to promote your business, plus a couple other things I want to cover as well. And you can take those things away from today's live um, with the motivation, with the clarity um, to go out and take massive action to promote your business, to get more clients in 2022. Um, I've done my job today, right? So I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Um, usually on Saturday, I just sit back and work on a lot of just computer stuff. No, not too many calls here or there. I'll talk to a couple amazing business owners. Uh, but other than that, Saturday, Sundays, is, uh, you know, the weekends for me to take a step back. I still work. Um, I, I genuinely, I shouldn't be working and I should be taking a couple days to just reset to start the next week. But I love what I do. I'm passionate about helping every single one of you guys succeed. Um, I have so many of you who have messaged me, who have said that they're looking forward to today's live um, that I want to show up for, right? Um, and, and most, com to be completely honest, it's really difficult to do so on the weekday because I am extremely busy helping our amazing, amazing partners or I'm busy speaking with amazing um, entrepreneur business owners that want to grow their business and need our help uh, or our advice or guidance. So Saturday, Sundays are the best days for me to dedicate an hour to an hour and a half doing Facebook Live for you guys. Now, part of the Scale My Clean, uh, Cleaning Business team, we have over 10 plus team members, um, over five plus coaches that can also de uh, do these lives as well every single week to cover bidding and quoting, hiring and retention of employees, social media, um, sales, and also on top of that, lead generation marketing. We can cover the whole nine yards when it comes to growing a commercial and residential cleaning business. If you guys are interested in doing or having us do this weekly, give us a thumbs up inside of the Facebook channel so I know that we should or I should bring it up uh, at our next team meeting for our coaches to step up and level up you guys um, so you guys can get the valuable information, knowledge, that you guys need to be able to grow, right? Because if you're a part of the Scaling Line Cleaning Business private family, you're either within our Scaling Academy program or you're working directly with us also as a high-level client where we handle 90% of your marketing and sales, you know how much effort our coaches give to every single one of you. Four weekly calls a week. Take a second and, and let that sink in. You have four weekly calls that you can work with us 
or get on if you're a private member or partner and get your answers uh, or get your questions answered and help, right? Um, so I want to give the same value to people inside the group, right? You guys deserve to get help. A lot of you guys aren't able to actually invest into your business or afford having mentors, coaches, or proven processes um, to be able to actually grow your business. But I want to take today in the next 60 minutes to give you guys everything that I uh, would give our private clients when, if they came to me and said, hey, man, like, what does it take to promote and grow my business? I want to give it to every single one of you guys today for absolutely free. Uh, but I want to, you know, let you understand something. I really, really appreciate everybody showing up and giving, you know, your time on a Saturday that you could be literally doing anything else. But you're here today, learning, leveling up, um, and, and being here to... Um, Look over these 20 plus ways to promote your business. Okay, enough talking. Um, I Let's jump right in. We have about five to 10 people in here right now. What is going on? Um, everybody in the chat, if you are watching this live, hashtag live, so I know you're here. I see Jose, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. I see Wendy. Um, hope you're having a great weekend, Wendy. Um, anybody else hashtag live, let's get some hashtag. Let's get some engagement in here at any moment or time. If you have a question, uh, feel free to just put it into the, uh, chat here. And when I do look at the chat, I'll go ahead and answer it for you guys. Other than that, let's jump right into today's live, which is a hundred ways to promote your cleaning business, um, to get more clients in 2022, but I'm only going to be covering about 20 because these 20 are the most efficient and effective ways of actually growing your cleaning business. Okay. I also have Don. What's going on, Don? Don is a new Scaling Academy member. I cannot wait to help you grow your business, man. It's going to be amazing. Um, I have other people joining in here. Sorry if I don't mention your name. It's just a lot going on within the chat. All right. So let's jump right in. Okay. So number one method of promoting your business is email marketing. Um, if you have been following us uh, either uh, since yesterday or for years now, uh, you know email marketing here at Scale Online Cleaning Business is our number one uh, prospecting promoting method when it comes to generating opportunities. So if you are looking for more commercial opportunities, more commercial uh, walkthroughs, email marketing is the way to go. I broke down email marketing into a couple of, of, of actually stages, which is number one, when you're doing email marketing, you need an intro email. The first email that goes out to the decision maker, okay? You need to understand that when you're sending emails, it's just not just, oh, here's everything about my business, what I do, how I help you, or how can I help you, what I provide. You don't want to bombard them with everything, okay? You want to do an intro email, which should be only a couple of lines, okay? If you have been following us, I've made many YouTube videos on um, how to pretty much write copy when it comes to email. And in the intro email, you want to first um, introduce yourself and then from there, hit a pain point with the prospect and then do a call to action. So for example, I would go, Hey, Mr. Prospect, Min here over at Min's Commercial Cleaning. I found your information on Google, on Yelp, on LinkedIn. I was wondering if you're currently um, experiencing any things that you're un uh, anything that you do not like or unpleased about your current cleaning company, and if you were looking for uh, a new cleaning company to come in and service you. If so, what is the best phone number to contact? you at, right? So there's the, the little introduction. There is the pain point, which is, are you unpleased with your current service? And then there's the call to action, which is, hey, you know, what is the best phone number for me to contact you at? Right? So that's email marketing, which after sending the intro message, there's also follow-up, right? Why aren't you sending follow-ups? If you're sending follow-up emails right now or doing email marketing, can we get a one into the chat? I want to see how many of you guys are actually doing email marketing, which hands down is the most efficient and effective way of generating leads, okay? If you're looking at these big, big companies, franchises, these big paper lead companies, they're doing email marketing, right? Here at Scale My Cleaning Business, we generate hundreds of leads every single month for our commercial cleaning partners through what? Email marketing. 
All right. So if you're doing email marketing, put a one into the chat. If you're not, that is one of the ways to actually start promoting and growing your cleaning business, right? Get the decision makers information. If you don't know how to feel free to message me here on Facebook and I will guide you. I'll help you. I'll give you the right information and guidance to actually get decision makers information. So you can stop spending so much time on Google, just searching things one by one. There's a more efficient way of doing it. Um, so go ahead and message me if you need help on it, right? Becky, what's going on? Becky would have won. Becky's actually part of her, you know, Scaling Academy program. She's been with us for a, a very, very long time. And I'm so grateful to have uh, Becky, a part of the Scale My Cleaning Business family. Um, but yes, so number one, it's getting the decision makers information. Number two is actually, you know, understanding what to say to them, which I just explained there earlier uh, in the live here a few minutes ago of how you should structure your copy, right? So now you know where to get the information, how to send it, uh, or what to say. You need to know how to send it. Right now, if you currently are leveraging softwares, people, et cetera, to send it, great. If you're doing it by yourself, it's time to level up uh, and, and get into softwares or hire somebody to do it for you and save you a lot of time. If you're a new business owner, you should be doing it. Maybe send out about 10 to 20 emails out per day, which with 10 to 20, you only should be expecting, honestly, one to two leads per month, looking at the KPIs um, in regards of our KPI here at Scale My Cleaning Business, every two to 300 emails, you should be expecting one to two positive responses, which are leads, um, depending on the location, the time of the year, et cetera. It could be lower. It could be higher, right? Cool. So email marketing is the first one. Number two, LinkedIn marketing, okay? Another massive, massively underrated way of actually promoting your business is on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a B2B platform, right? You guys are on social media like Facebook, Instagram. Some of you guys might be on TikTok, right? Scrolling through, wasting a lot of time. But why aren't you on LinkedIn? And if you are on LinkedIn, why aren't you utilizing it to connect with decision makers? B2B platform, business to business. So your ideal prospects, your ideal uh, decision makers are all on LinkedIn. Trust me, we have generated hundreds of leads for our commercial cleaning partners every single month through LinkedIn. Okay. So if you're not on LinkedIn, get on LinkedIn, look professional. That's number one, have a great logo profile picture. What I recommend is you create two profiles uh, or two accounts on LinkedIn, one for your business, and then one for your personal. Now on your personal Something I'm going to cover later is an 80-20 rule, okay? So stay on a little bit later. I'm going to explain to you on social media how you should be positioning yourself in an 80-20 format to actually generate business, okay? Because a lot of you guys are on social media right now spending 80% of the time consuming and 20% of the time, maybe even a, like a couple percent, 10% if you're lucky, actually promoting and uh, you know being able to create content, right? So... Next, number three, Instagram marketing. Okay, we're going to follow up with that with Facebook uh, marketing. So Instagram and Facebook marketing. Okay, are you on Instagram? Are you on Facebook? Instagram, what we found, it's more direct towards uh, actually residential leads. But if you guys are on Instagram and Facebook, both great platforms that actually start following the 80-20 rule, which I'm going to cover a little bit later in today's live. So stay tuned to that. Um, it's a great way to actually uh, post content and be able to generate opportunities. But if you follow the 80-20 rule, you'll be able to actually generate uh, opportunities from these platforms. A lot of you right now understand that Instagram, Facebook, are effective ways of generating leads, but you're showing up today not understanding how to make it effective. And here we are, here at Scale My Cleaning Business, we look at every opportunity as an opportunity to generate business for our partners. So we have really dig deep into the background of the algorithm, the algorithm. I don't even know how to say that word, but the back end of what it really takes to take a platform and turn it into a cash machine for your business which today I'm going to cover a little bit later. After Instagram and Facebook marketing as ways to promote your business, posting content, connecting with people, sharing, um, commenting, liking, et cetera. Um, it's text SMS marketing, right? 
Text SMS marketing. Um, if you are in a state that actually does not allow text SMS marketing, I'm sorry to let you know this, you are not able to do so. But some states you are, or some states, if you follow a specific rule uh, or laws, which are like opt out options for all text SMS marketing, then you can actually send it, right? So if you're doing SMS text uh, marketing, an example is this. The organic way in regards of just manually doing it as a business owner um, is just getting a list of decision makers, which if you're looking for a list here at Scale My Cleaning Business, we have it for 25 bucks. If you want the link to that, privately message me. It will give you a list of the names, email, and phone numbers of the decision makers that you're looking to contact, right? So SMS marketing, it's very similar to email. Obviously, one is in your email inbox. One is actually directly coming to your phone um, as a text message. Now, when I actually started out in the marketing world, you know, email marketing was one of those things that I literally just didn't like. And I was like, you know what? Nobody uses their email. Who uses their email anymore? Like we're all on our phone. We're all texting each other. Who uses their email? Until I realized that business owners use their emails to actually do business. So property managers look at their email to see if anybody's acquiring, you know, their properties or looking to do any type of business um, within the property that they're managing, right? So if you're looking for an apartment complex, these apartment complexes, property managers are getting emails asking about the property and wanting to rent the actual apartments and property. So that's where they're checking their email. Why not position your business there? And that's where I was like, holy crap, a light bulb blink, uh, you know, flickered into my head. I'm like, oh my God, email marketing is the way to go. And we've really developed a, a very, very amazing process of leveraging it uh, to actually generate leads. But text SMS is a very similar way. It's organic marketing. You're literally getting a list of decision makers uh, information in regards to their phone number, and then being able to position your uh, business and yourself in front of them through text. Okay. Um, number, I don't even know what number I'm on. One, two, three, four. Okay. So four, number five and number six is Google my business and then Google SEO, uh, Google, Google my business and SEO. Google has a, a very wide option of ways for you to actually promote your business and grow. There is the paid ad option where if you continue to invest into SEO, eventually over time, which takes a long time, um, you can actually rank yourself higher in the search engine, uh, which means if somebody goes and search up cleaning business in Ohio, because your SEO is great, which honestly, there's more than just paying it, paying money each month to be there. That's why Google My Business is super important. You want to set up your Google My Business profile correctly, consistently post content on your Google account, uh, consistently have your customers uh, leave reviews on Google and consistently, you know, make sure that you're doing everything else on Google, which they walk you through. There's tutorials on how to do that to make it optimized, like to optimize your profile on Google so you can continue to hire your ranking, right? And then eventually over time, you do have to invest money into it so you can actually get up there in the search engine. Um, but if you're doing it organically, post content, make it look professional and stay consistent with Google My Business. Again, Google SEO is a search engine optimization. You do need to invest money to be able to actually continue to rank your business up. But let me tell you this. If your business is number one, number two, or number three, which is the first page of Google, you will get 80% of the business that is going to come uh, from people looking up cleaning, business, uh, cleaning businesses on Google, right? Google is like the Amazon when it comes to products, right? So when it comes to service space, if you're on Google uh, as the, the, the top three services around your area, it's the same thing as being the th top three products on Amazon when it comes to whatever category that person is searching on, right? So Google, Amazon, very similar. Um, so you want to be at the top of the top. So Google SEO and also Google My Business are great things to look into. Um, one big challenge to everybody here is this. What is stopping you away from spending one to two hours um, tomorrow or next weekend or throughout the week to literally indulge yourself, indoctrinate yourself with how to actually use these things that I'm covering in today's uh, live here 
um, into your business. If you spent one or two weekends doing all of your research on Google My Business or Google SEO, email marketing, LinkedIn, and you're doing research through Google, right? You're, you're watching YouTube videos, getting as much knowledge as possible, and then start taking action on it. Your business is going to be at a whole different place a year from now, right? So if you guys can do me a huge favor, spend the next one to two hours within the next few days, next week, next weekend, whatever it is, the, the sooner, the better. Um, and, and just indulge yourself and learn so much about what I'm covering today. Just pick one or two ways to promote and spend all of your time or energy actually just learning those things. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, any questions so far? If you have any questions, please leave it below in the comment section um, before I continue into the next couple of uh, ways to promote your business here. Any questions? Anybody doing any of the things that I'm covering today? Any questions around the ways to promote? <clears throat> I'm going to take a step back here and sip on some coffee while questions come in. Usually Facebook is pretty delayed. So I give everybody about a minute or two to type in their questions before I move forward. <clears throat> we have about 12 people on here. I want to first obviously take the time to uh, let you guys know I'm super grateful and, and, and blessed to be able to have every single one of you guys show up today. If you're healthy, right? If you woke up this morning, you should be extremely blessed and grateful uh, because a lot of people didn't. Um, and a lot of things are happening around the world, um, that, you know, if, if you're here watching this live, you are extremely blessed, uh, to be able to have internet connection, have the ability to even watch me here on live. Um, and, and you have a business that you're going and going, uh, waking up every single day and going towards growing. Um, so you have a lot to be grateful for and a lot to be blessed for. So, um, you know, take the second today and just take a deep breath and just thank you, right? Thank you for everything in your life, your business, etc. cetera, um, because there's so much going on in this world that, you know, you, you being here today on this live, uh, you should be extremely, extremely grateful for. So <clears throat> Gene, what's going on, man? Great value content. I really appreciate it, man. You've been killing it. I've been seeing you on Facebook live and Facebook. If you guys want to talk about content, and promoting the business, you should check out Gene's profile, man. Left and right, new contract. Hey, this is what we do, which is awesome, right? <clears throat> Don said you talked to uh, you talked about. I'm guessing it's some things worded differently, but you talked to marketing through LinkedIn. Okay, you talked about marketing through LinkedIn. What are some of the ways we can market through our personal website? Oh my God, I love that you just brought this up. Um, I actually have a website as one of the ways to promote your business, but I'm out to help you guys understand that this is the, the, the same thing that I tell our, our current owners and also people that I speak with. Okay. Look at your website as your home, like a home that you're trying to sell. Okay. Um, the more you put to the website, the more you invest into the website, the, the better it looks, the better it function, uh, the higher end the home is, right? So if you go into, you know, a luxurious home, everything in the home is looking top level. The way the microwave opens, the way the cabinet opens, the quality of the floor, the tile, all of those things, even though here's the thing, you can spend 500 bucks on a website or you can spend 5,000. The website's going to come out maybe looking the same, but the functionality is going to be completely different, right? Just because you can walk on a wooden floor doesn't mean that wooden floor quality is better than a tile floor, right? And a tile would obviously cost more, but whatever the whole gist of the construction aspect of it. Um, but look at your website as a home. Now you're trying to sell services through that website, which is your cleaning services. Same thing with your home. You're trying to sell the home. Now, if you're trying to sell the home, you need to start promoting the home because you can't just be like, hey, the home is for sale. And then you go to bed, you wake up, home is for sale. Wake up, go to bed, home is for sale. And this, and the only person you're telling is yourself that the home is for sale, which um, to be quite frank, if you're not listing it up on like Zillow, you're not contacting your local realtor to, to go out there and sell your home, then your home is just going to sit on the, not even the market because you have to put it on the market. It's just going to sit in your brain. And it's for sale, but nobody's wanting to buy it when nobody knows about it, right? Same thing as your website. It can literally just sit there because you're not promoting it. 
Okay. So on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere you go, right. For you to actually bring a sense of uh, attraction to your website, you need to start promoting your website. You need to go out there and say, visit my website at www.menscommercialcleaning.com if you want to get a quote. Hey, visit my, literally, if you are interested in working with Scale My Cleaning Business and becoming part of the private family, go to www.scalemycleaningbusiness.net and you can actually go ahead and schedule a call with myself or a team member to see if you'll be a good fit, right? So what I just did there is I just promoted the website, right? So you have to get out there. You have to promote through LinkedIn when you're connecting with somebody. Don't just send them a website, right? Send it when they ask it. Again, the website is there to, to showcase your business, right? Same thing as a home is to showcase your home. Your, your home is there so people can see, you know, the home, how it looks, how it feels, how it functions, et cetera, right? So hopefully, Don, that answer your question. That's the analogy that I always use, which is look at your website as a home. Um, and same thing, look at your business at a home as, as a home. If you're not promoting it, if you're not sending it to people, if you're not telling people about it, it's never going to be sold, Right? If I don't tell anybody my home is for sale, it will never be sold. Right? <clears throat> cool. Google local service and Google ads question mark. Um, Wendy, if you this is a great thing because you just asked me about Google local service and Google ads. If you go on Google and type in everything you need to know, literally this everything you need to know about Google local services. Not only are you going to get articles and Google search engine topics about it, you're going to get videos explaining in depth way more than I can explain to you today on this live about how to use Google local services or Google ads. And you as a business owner should take the time to accumulate all of that knowledge, experience, and wisdom from that person that is teaching you um, that specific local Google local service or Google ads. Take notes and start taking action and learning how to do it, right? Um, somebody said fairly, would you recommend a company to build a website or use a website builder? That's actually a great, great question. So <clears throat> when it comes to just starting out your business with low investment funds or low capital, um, I just, you know, I would just go with the website builder, right? Um, again, like building a home, if you're in real estate, you know, take the time and understand that you don't have much capital, but if you have a loan for a million dollars, then leverage that and actually go and build and, and get a well done, well functional, uh, fun functionality website built. Um, so you never have to worry about it again. Right. Um, but I would recommend in the beginning stages, low capital, just do a website builder, get something up there, get some, get a place to send people. Um, the level before that is just to have really great social media, uh, like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, if you don't have a website, right? Leverage your social media as where you're going to send people. Uh, but just a website builder in the beginning, if you have low funds, it's easy to build, it's easy to use. Uh, but again, as you continue to grow your business, it is great to actually look into a uh, website, just in general, building one from scratch, right? Wendy, you're welcome. Hopefully that helps. Um, again, guys, a lot of the things you have to realize is the information is all out there. Everything I'm covering in today's live is already out there, right? You just got to go out and search for it. You just got to go out and look for it. Be curious. Ask why, right? <clears throat> One thing that I learned in regards of just um, life in general, it's a quick life lesson. If you don't want to hear it, totally understand. I'm going to say it anyways. But everything you want, your dream home, your dream car, your dream vacation, your, 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 your dream family, that person that you're going to build a family with, like they're already out there. They're already out. Your dream home is already out there. Well, man, what if I want to build my dream home? Great. All of the materials and the person that's going to build, it's already out there. You need to go out and you need to find them, right? To be able to actually build your dream home, which ideally takes money, et cetera. That's why everybody's on today's call here to learn how to grow their business, to make money. But what I'm trying to get across is your ideal clients, right? Your ideal website, your ideal social media, your ideal uh, ad, whatever it is, it's already out there. You as a business owner need to ask yourself the question of, hey, how can I get that? How can I do that, right? No longer like, I can't do that. It's, oh, how can I do that, right? We've all heard it before, Right. Um, don't the way you think, the way you, you, you ask yourself questions is the outcome that you're going to get within your life. So sometimes, um, it's not like life sucks. It's just, you know, 
life is doing this because of X. It's helping me understand blank, right? So it's how you look at things uh, perspective. All right, let's get back into more ways to promote your business. Another way is Craigslist. Um, This is something that we here at Scale My Cleaning Business have not looked into, but I have talked to so many business owners that have said, well, I got a couple leads off of Craigslist. I saw people make a couple posting about them needing cleaners or them needing a cleaning company. So look into Craigslist, right? Craigslist, um, it's known for a product, free products. Like literally you go on Craigslist, you can get stuff for free because people post on Craigslist. So you can come and pick it up for them, right? So that's what I know Craigslist for. You can also buy stuff on Craigslist. Um, but yeah, look into Craigslist as a way to actually generate a couple of leads or, or business opportunities. Um, number, I don't know, I think number eight, paper lead companies, right? So a lot of people put a lot of hate to paper lead companies. Yes, there are some paper lead companies out there who is just totally garbage and you should not spend another penny with them. But there are some reliable ones that, you know, are in the 50-50 range in regards of customer satisfaction. And one of the best ones out of the paper lead companies that uh, I've heard of and I have seen um, is Bark. Um, we have many members inside the Scaling Academy program that have, you know, extra funds to accumulate, to, to pretty much just invest and they go to Bark and they're able to generate decent leads on Bark. Um, so Bark is a great platform for, for pay per lead. They're not promoting today. Of, of course, what here at Scale My Cleaning Business we do is completely op- opposite from them. Uh, but we believe in just, you know, when it comes to a lead, we want to work with people to uh, generate them organically. So they're the only one bidding because the downside of pay per lead, everybody knows this, is you're paying cheap for a lead, right? But you're also competing with 10 other companies that paid for that lead as well, which when you're in competition, the likely likelihood of you actually winning the contract is a lot lower compared to if you're doing email marketing, LinkedIn marketing, text marketing, where you're directly going to them and being there at the right time at the right place, right? And speaking to the right person. Um, Referral program. How many of you guys have a referral program within your business? Right. That's actually a great topic where I want to, you know, have one of our coaches go over their referral program. I think Kara would be a great person to go over her uh, referral program, because to be quite frank with you guys, she grew her business massively through word of mouth and referrals. Right. So she she definitely has a very, very uh, well-designed referral program that you guys should get access to and should just pick your brain on. So maybe I can convince her to go on live uh, one of these weekends um, to go over her referral program with you, right? So if you're a private member, you probably already know it's probably inside our course program. Uh, but if you're not, I want to, you know, give you value and, you know, developing a referral program, it's going to be massive for your business, right? So another way of generating business referrals, uh, fairly say I'm wondering about 99 calls. Um, another, I, I believe a paper lead company. Um, see, like a lot of these, like, like companies that are doing paper lead, uh, if you really dissect like what they're doing, um, it's a lot of stuff that you can build internally into your business, right? So with paper lead companies, and this is coming from an inside source of just people that I've known that work for these paper lead companies or franchises, et cetera. Um, the way they generate leads is the exact way that, you know, we can teach you here at Scale My Cleaning Business how to do it. Email marketing, text marketing, cold calling, right? Um, they're just charging you um, their efforts, right? So again, it, it, that's how business works, right? You provide a solution in exchange for money. They provide you a solution, which is leads because you're unaware of how to generate them in return for money. Okay. So if you learn, let's just say you keep following scale my cleaning business and you continue to learn how to generate your own leads, then guess what? Their service becomes absolutely unneeded because you already have the solution, which is already knowing how to generate yourself leads. Does that make sense? So 99 calls, I haven't heard much about them. I've heard people use them, uh, but it's like usually newer, you know, commercial residential cleaning businesses. They're I'm pretty sure familiar to just pay per lead. Um, so um, with me, I, as much as I love talking about opportunities, leads, it's also really important that you guys understand that having a strong sales process, um, it's really important because a lead can come in, but if you don't have a strong sales process to nurture and, you know, quite frankly, um, say the right things, do the right things you can, or price the job correctly, um, you can pretty much lose that lead. Right. So um, I don't, I'm, when I say lose, what I mean by it is like lose that first initial bid. Uh, but over time, you keep following up with them. A lead can turn from a no into a yes. Right. That's sales. 
like the ultimate goal of sales is turning somebody from a no to a yes. Um, but over time, as you're filling up your pipeline, you're going to generate more leads, et cetera. Okay. Um, word of mouth, the cheapest and most scalable way of actually, you know, getting clients, but that's if, and when you do have clients. Okay. Remember this, if you want to scale your commercial or residential business to the moon, right, you want to be able to provide an amazing service and also give the uh, give people a reason to actually promote and actually, uh, you know, refer you new business. What you can actually start doing is doing a 20% off to the person that just gave you a new business. Or you can say, hey, for every person that you refer my way, I will give you a $50 gift card, $20 gift card, either that's in commercial or residential, whatever it is, right? And you can scale quite frankly, quite frankly, fast with word of mouth and referrals, okay? Um, you just got to give people a reason uh, to do so, right? And, and another thing is um, you need clients to actually get referrals going because if you're not cleaning for anybody, if you're not providing your service for anybody, then it's really difficult for people even to, you know, refer you business, right? Because they have to experience working with you. They have to experience your cleaning, your quality, uh, your culture before referring it to their friend or something like that. So it's really important that you guys understand that referral and word of mouth comes, uh, for, uh, comes from just having clients that love what you do. And then you giving them a really, really good reason to actually go out there and promote um, and be a walking billboard for you, pretty much if you look at referrals and, and, and um, uh, word of mouth, right? So <clears throat> another one, events, make connections with people, right? Now with COVID, obviously taking a step back, I haven't heard much about COVID. I'm not going to talk too much about that. My live will probably be taken down if I say that again, but um, uh, events, go out there, connect with people, right? Again, your business relies on you as the business owner in the beginning stages to actually generate business. So you should be spending time, energy, money, uh, just to pretty much get in front of as many people as possible and connecting with them, building relationships, let them know more about your com uh, company, what you provide. <clears throat> And doing so by going to events, look up local events around your uh, 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 area, like, you know, uh, B&I events, right? Networking events. These are great things you guys should look into and start going out there and promoting your business. You can show up with a shirt that literally says your business name. And then people would ask, oh, cool. You own a cleaning business. Yes, I do. Right. The, the analogy of this, ready? Um, people know you, <clears throat> people know people who know more people. So why not start building relationships with people, okay? Um, okay, so another thing would be business-to-business -business referral. Connect with local businesses around your area. Let them know that you're going to promote their business. In return, you'll, they'll send you people. So, for example, the apartment complex that I am grateful to be able to you know, live in, um, we got a folder when we first came in and lived here with a, a, a pretty much two or three cleaning companies that they are partnered with, which means that cleaning company, those cleaning companies would clean. And if anybody ever has a question about where should I live? Hey, do you have any, you know, do you live around here? Hey, what apartments are great? Their responsibility is to promote where I'm living right now by saying, Hey, yeah, no, I, I know this amazing apartment. My friends live there. We do, you know, clean there. It's an amazing, beautiful spot. You guys should look into there. Right. So these people that's getting their home clean right now, go and look at the apartment, potentially can turn into clients and vice versa for you guys. Right. So if we need cleaning, right, the, the, the people here at the apartment, it's going to be like, hey, um, we have cleaning companies that are great. They clean all the apartments around here. You should call them. Boom. Referral business, business to business referral. OK, um, quite frankly, we've all heard it. The more hands you shake, the more money you make. Right. So go out there and shake more hands, do more business. Uh, with people like just because they're not looking for cleaning doesn't mean that they don't know somebody that can potentially look for cleaning, right? A huge way of actually generating more leads or turning a lead into more leads is asking the lead if they have any more people that can turn into leads for your business, which is anybody else that can use your service, right? It does not hurt for, for you to go and go, hey, is there anybody else that you know that can use our cleaning services at the moment? If so, we want to give you an extra $50 gift card, right? If you can refer somebody that can use our cleaning services. How do you guys think car companies, car salesmen make their money and make so much money selling cars or, or, you know, how realtors make so much money. They sell a home or they buy a home or they buy a car, or sell a car, and then ask that person if they know anybody else who's looking to buy or sell, right? So it's, it's a great thing to start asking within your business. 
Um, okay. Um, your website spoke about it earlier, right? It's a great, I look at it as a business real estate. Your website is there because you want to send people there to be able to receive a quote. Uh, make sure you have a contact us or request a free quote within your website, actually convert the people that are coming on, uh, or coming into your website. Don't just have a website with a couple pictures and be like, this is what we do. And no phone or no phone number, no email, no nothing. Because then you're just sending people to your home uh, without a way for them to contact you about buying it, right? Or, you know, getting a tour, whatever it is. So you want to be able to have like a contact us here with our number or, hey, fill in this in for to request a quote. We'll contact you. Okay. Um, a couple more, which is door knocking, cold calling, and flyers and business cards. These are actually the last three that I'm, I'm going to cover here before I go into some highly valuable takeaways I want you guys to take away here. So door knocking, cold calling, flyers, right? These three are what you consider the old-fashioned guerrilla marketing uh, methods when it comes to prospecting leads and opportunities. They work. You just have to do a little bit more work, right? A lot more energy, a lot more time it takes to actually do it. So if you're door knocking, cold calling flyers and business cards, it does work. You just got to do a crap ton of it um, and you have to do it consistently and you have to be really, really disciplined. So door knocking, cold calling, and also on top of that flyer, it takes time. Um, you're going to be on your feet. It's pretty much the grind in regards of generating leads. Okay. All right. So that is it in regards of promoting your business or ways to promote your business. I have a, a lot of ways here that you guys can actually, you know, some things you guys need to take away from you know, today's uh, live here. So I wrote it down on my iPad here. So be ready to actually take notes on this because as much as I love what I covered today, which is to, with the ways to promote your business, if I really want any of you guys to succeed, I want to give you guys this information here so you guys can actually start taking massive action within your business and take the ways of promoting and actually make it effective and efficient within your business, like the 80-20 rule, uh, omnipresence, et cetera, okay? So before I go into this, any questions uh, in regards of the ways to promote? Anybody got any other ways to promote? I know fairly, you know, said 99 calls. Anybody have tried it? Anybody have tried any other ways of generating leads? Uh, either, it, you know, you have, you have an opinion on it, you have a question on it, uh, or you just want to share it to people, right? Uh, sharing is caring. We're in this world to share. Great. Uh, you know, that's why I love doing these live. I get to share the experience, the ideas, and the knowledge that we have here, because I know doing so is going to help every single one of you guys level up and grow your business, which makes me happy. Okay. Anybody, again, Facebook is quite slow, usually when it comes to this stuff. So just going to give everybody a minute here. And also, I am going to share in here the document of what I just covered today. So every single one of you guys can get access to looking at the um, ways to promote your business that I covered today, plus the key valuable things I'm going to cover right now as well, um, if no questions come in. Okay. This is the doc covered. Cool, no questions. I guess everybody is good. Everybody is ready to take massive action. Um, I have a feeling somebody's commenting or somebody has comment, but I have not gotten it. And thank guys, yo, thank you guys for the love the emojis and stuff like that. I see it here while I'm uh, going over a topic. I really, really appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> woo, woo, woo. Can we get a, can we get a clap? Can we get a, a huge clap right now for what Becky just said? Just landed a hundred thousand account with your program. Becky, you're amazing. After our call the other day, I really hope you took massive action on what we covered, but you just landed a $100,000 account working with us. That's amazing. Congratulations, first of all. Everybody in this chat here should take a second and realize something. Well, I have to tell you guys so you guys can realize. Becky started with us, I would say almost a year now, building her business, and she stayed commit, committed throughout the whole process continuously leveling up, learning about ways that we've helped her to grow. And she's closed many other contracts as well. She's grown her business a lot since working with us. But this is a huge, 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 huge win right here. A six-figure account closed working with Scale My Clean Business. This deserves a Facebook story. 
<laughs> if you guys aren't following me on Facebook or you guys aren't friends with me on Facebook, request to be friends with me. Let's connect. Let's, uh, you know, help, let, let, let me help you guys continue to grow your business the way I'm, we're doing here. It's got my cleaning business for Becky. What is going on Facebook uh, story? I just wanted to go on the story here and show you guys. We are on live, 100 plus ways to promote your cleaning business. Becky just landed a six-figure account working directly with Scale My Cleaning Business. I just wanted to share that. She's an extremely hardworking person that deserve this contract. Cool, cool. Becky, you're awesome. Awesome. Anybody else? Actually, let's take, let's take a second and go over some wins. Anybody else have some wins? Anything that they have done, any decisions, any contracts, any leads that they've gotten this week that they want to celebrate, right? If you guys want to get more leads, positive energy in your life, please continue to share it, okay? Great things come to great people, okay? So continue... And you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for showing up and, 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 you know, congratulating Becky. This community is amazing. I am so grateful and blessed to have every single one of you guys part of the community because not only are you guys here to succeed, but you guys love it when others succeed as well. And, you know, I'm very, very grateful to be able to build this amazing community here with the Scale My Cleaning Business team. All right, Becky, great job. Keep it up. Use that as a huge momentum uh, use it as momentum to continue to land more contracts and grow your business. Um, again, to show you guys, nothing happens overnight, right? So continue to prospect, continue to grow your business um, and, and sign six-figure contracts like Carrie is here. Or not Carrie, my apologies, Becky is here, right? Um, cool. So let's jump into, um, oh, boom, Gene just landed a 68 thousand nine hundred dollars with your program gene another that's that's amazing man everybody's killing in here um you guys are awesome gene amazing amazing congratulations um you guys are freaking amazing um again guys i'm not we're not paying any of these people no, i'm kidding uh no we we are so grateful to be able to provide a service information guidance to amazing cleaning owners like gene becky and the rest of you i want the next live event i have for everybody uh, to be freaking coming here and be like, yo, you guys helped me out so much. That, that makes me so much, so happy. Um, so I thank you guys a lot, man. I thank you, man. Continue to show up, continue to build and grow your business. I'm so grateful to uh, been able to, to help you land that contract there. All right, <clears throat> cool. All right, so let's jump into the rest of the live here. Um, so we're gonna be covering some valuable takeaways, okay? So. Number one, valuable takeaway when it comes to promoting your business is being omnipresent, okay? So if you want to be able to grow, promote, and generate a, a lot of business, um, you need to be omnipresent. So omnipresence, uh, the definition on Google for that is widely or constantly encountered, common, and widespread, okay? Do I need to explain any further than uh, pretty much what omnipresent mean, Okay. Uh, just started working with Pet, Pet Smart in Philadelphia. Great, man. That's freaking awesome. Continue crushing it. Omnipresent. Gene is a great example of omnipresent. If you go on his profile right now, you will see lives, videos, pictures of his contracts, what he's working on, what he's doing. And that's omnipresence, right? Letting the world know who you are, what you're doing. So guess what? If you do so, if you're screaming on the mountaintops about your business, people will listen, people will hear, and people would want to work with you. Um, and let me tell you guys this. Human beings work with human beings. So your ideal clients, your decision makers that you want to work with, they're human beings. So go out there, share, connect, promote your business and be omnipresent. Be on every single platform, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, develop a website, be everywhere, right? And don't be shy away from letting people know what you do. And of course, don't shy away from letting people know you're the number one cleaning company in your area, Okay. <clears throat> use your personal page. Here's the 80, 20 rule. You guys ready to take out a pen and paper? Because what I'm about to drop here is extremely valuable uh, in regards to the 80, 20 rule. Okay. 80, 20 rule. You need to follow this. Okay. Use your personal page when it comes to social media, and you should be focusing the 80, 20 rule like this. 80% of the content that you post should be around business and 20% of the content you post should be around personal, right? The reason why your personal profile right now, a couple of ways, 
uh, it, it's not working, it's not really getting you opportunity is because one, you're not following the 80, 20 rule, which is posting 80% business and posting 20% personal, but it also doesn't look professional, right? What I love about Gene, Becky, and some of your guys' profile here is you guys have a picture of yourself on your uh, profile picture. Get like a, um, I wouldn't say a mug shot, but uh, maybe like a, a face shot of whatever it's called, just a picture of your face um, or just a very nice well-taken picture that you guys can put as your profile so people can look at you and like, wow, Becky, you're so professional. Gene, you're so professional. Don, you look professional. Stuff like that, right? Um it's extremely important that you want to look professional, okay? Then following the 80-20 rule, 80% of the posts you, you're making should be around business, and then 20% of it should be around personal, okay? Um, and then also, you should also have a business page, which ideally, if you just make it look professional and post 100% about it, a hundred percent business, it's going to succeed. Okay. So personal page, make it look professional, 80, 20 rule, 80% business content, 80, uh, 20% personal. And then your business account should be, uh, very professionally, uh, built. And then on top of that, it should have a hundred percent business related content, right? So content, some ideas, jot this down, uh, before and after pictures, results, reviews, testimonials from clients, um, content about what you're doing with the, the specific job that you're working on, going on live, recording a video, explaining to people the materials that you're using, the uh, equipment that you're using, the products that you're using to clean X, clean window, clean floor, clean this, this, and that, and make a video content out of it. That's going to help you grow your brand, right? That's going to show everybody that's following you that you know what you're talking about. And because of that, next time they need somebody to clean their home or their business or their property, they're coming directly to you. But you have to get out there and show them that, hey, I am an expert. Hey, I am the best cleaning company in town. So if you want to hire somebody, hire me. But you indirectly uh, are saying that by posting content, showing them that you're an authority, showing them that you know what you're talking about, okay? All right. Um, another way, another thing, another couple of takeaways, even more. I have so much more takeaways for you guys. Three ways to promote on social media. The three things you need to know on social media is this find, add, and share. Okay. Find, add, and share. So let me break it down. So find, find decision makers on social media. Go out there, find decision makers, right? If you go on Google right now and you search up your local, let's just say dental offices, right? Go find the dentist, the assistant on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, right? You're not stalking them. Of course, the intention is around getting business. So you're not stalking. Don't stalk them. Don't be weird. Um, but your intention with it is to find the decision makers, right? It doesn't have to be in the dental. I'm just using an example. And then number two is add. You need to add that decision maker as a friend or connect them with on LinkedIn, depending on what platform you're in. Add them as a friend, right? Connect with them on LinkedIn. Actually start a genuine conversation on social media, all right? Um, and then number three is share your content. So here's the thing that I want to let you guys know, and this is a huge secret. So if you're staying towards the end, this is super massive for you, okay? So take a second and think about it like this. Every single one of you guys have a profile right now on Facebook. If you don't, you're probably not watching this. So if you're questioning whether or not you have a profile, you do. You're watching this right now. I mean, you do have a profile, okay? You add all of your friends. You have all of your friends as friends on Facebook. So every time you post a content, who sees your post? Your friends. Have you ever thought of start adding decision makers as your friends on Facebook? So when you post content, those decision makers can see it. Hmm. Let that sink in right? Why are you friends with your friends on Facebook? So they can see the content that you're posting and engage and connect with it, right? So how can you use social media as a business platform, a business generation, a lead generation by being friends and connecting with business owners, property managers, decision makers. So when you post about your business 80-20 rule on your personal page, those people see it. Free promotion. It costs you zero to add people's friends. It costs you zero dollars to post content. Facebook will show your content to your friends, which are, if you do the method I'm talking about, the decision makers, right? 
the dental office is around your area. That decision maker that you've been following up with, if you try to add them on Facebook, right? You send them a message, LinkedIn, whatever, connect with them. Once they add you back, they're going to see your content. Okay. Be creative. Texting and email aren't the only two options that you can use to message and contact decision makers. Think outside the box. You can use social media. You can DM that person that you're currently trying to close the bid with. You can Facebook message them. You can LinkedIn message them. Okay. You don't have to call and text them or email them. Who came up with that rule, right? Traditionally, yes, back then it is. But guess what? Social media is a thing, okay? So hopefully that little piece of value nugget right there helps you really understand that that's how you really leverage social media. It's you, who you're friends with, who you're connecting with, because the content that goes out, it's super important. But what's even more important is like who's seeing that content, right? Are people that you're friends with and following and, and connecting with on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, are those people ideal customers? And if they're not, then you're wasting your time posting content. So focus on who's being friends with you. Are these people ever going to ever give you money in exchange for your service? If the answer is no, unfriend them because your focus right now is business and growing your business, okay? <clears throat> when you're generating new business, make sure you have a CRM, a client relationship management software, right? Here at Scale My Cleaning Business, we recommend, we use um, Go High Level, which is our number one recommendation, uh, recommendation when it comes to cleaning business, uh, for cleaning business owners when it comes to CRM. Um, Min, where can I get the link to sign up to or to get a uh, demonstration of Go High Level? How can I learn more about Go High Level? No problem. I got you. I'm going to post the link in here so you guys can go and check it out and use the affiliate link here, which will allow you to help us as a company grow. Um, and also on top of that, we're referring you uh, pretty much our number one um, CRM for cleaning business owners. We use it as a company. Our clients use it as a company. Our partners, our members use it, uh, uses it in, within their company as well. So go and head and check out Go High Level. And if you uh, want to have a client relationship management system, which is extremely important because you do not want a lead to come in and not know where that lead is within your sales process. You don't want to come in and not know what to do with that lead, where they're at, how to like none of that, right? You want to have a CRM in, in regards, I'm going to talk about Go High Level, where you can call, text, email, do email campaigns, even build a website on Go High Level. Like that's Go High Level is a whole, it's 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 massively incredible on what you can actually do with the actual CRM. It's not just a CRM, right? But you can leverage it as a CRM. And for people that sign up for Go High Level, if you want, I am willing to connect you with Alex, who is uh, another co-founder of Scale My Cleaning Business. But we call him the Tech Wizard. If you do sign up with Go High Level, we will have an opportunity for you to get on a call with Alex and help and have him help you out with setting up the CRM within Go High Level, walking you through maybe a couple questions that you have. If you want that, if you want to sign up for Go High Level and use it as a CRM, we are more than happy to get on a call with you and help you set it up, et cetera, right? So contact me in regard to that. <clears throat> okay, three ways to scale up your prospecting, okay? Before scaling up, you actually need to fine tune your current process and make sure it's an ROI positive and it's consistently generating new clients. So before you scale up, which I'm going to cover the three ways to do so, you want to make sure that whatever you're doing is actually working. So email marketing here at Scale My Cleaning Business, we scaled this prospecting system up for all of our members and clients. And it obviously takes time, but eventually we want to scale it up to you know, the point where hundreds and thousands of emails are going out every single day. Because we found that if we send out one to 200, we'll get one to two responses. Um, and so because of that, we've done it and it's consistently proven. So because of that, we know if we find a way to send a thousand, it's going to generate five to 10 leads example, right? Um, so because of that, that's where we scale stuff up. So same thing with cold calling, same thing with uh, LinkedIn, same thing with text, a bunch of other ways of generating leads. <clears throat> you don't want to scale up and spend more, mar uh, more money with uh, Bark or paper lead companies until you know that every dollar that you're spending, like a few hundred bucks, it's actually returning you to break even or actually making you money. And once you have that, you're like, okay, 
great. How about I spend 10 times as much? Am I going to get 10 times the result? Okay, cool. Let's test it out. Let's see if it works, right? The whole point about, about being an entrepreneur, being a business owner is you need to test. You need to reinvest. That doesn't mean that every time you reinvest, you're going to make more money, right? If you break even in marketing, you've won because you've gotten data. And data and, and numbers is what helps your business grow. It's not really about the feeling, right? It's not like, oh, I'd spend a hundred bucks here and it didn't work. So I'm never spending it again. You didn't spend enough, right? <clears throat> So some takeaways, you know, look at your business as a numbers game. Like how, I'm gonna be honest with you, this whole world, this whole universe is built on numbers. It's all numbers. Everything you see, everything you do is numbers. A hundred ways to promote your business. 11 people in this channel, Becky closing a six figure deal, a hundred thousand dollar account, uh, a gene closing a sixty eight, $70,000 deal. Um, freaking what time is it? One fourteen. Like everything is just numbers. Right. So your business is also numbers as well. So when you're investing into your business and, and looking at prospecting, look at a couple of key components. How much money did you put into it? How much money or how many leads did it actually generate you? OK. And then on top of that, how much money did you make from those leads? And if you take the amount of money you made from the lead and the amount of money that you spent for the leads, you put it together and your cash flow positive, then guess what? That thing that you're doing, it's working. So try it again. And then if you do it a couple of times, like, oh, great, it's continuing to be cash flow positive, ROI positive. Cool. Let me spend a little bit more money. Okay. And if you want to scale things up, you need, uh, there's three ways to do so. Number one, it's people, right? If you are finding out that you're calling a hundred people and getting one walkthrough and you've been doing it for weeks after weeks and months after months, and it's working every single month, then guess what? If you want to scale it up, it's time to get double the results. So you need another person to do so alongside with yourself. So instead of hundred calls per day, you have 200 calls, two people, um, double the result, right? So that's the simple fifth grader uh, kind of mindset when it comes to scaling. Uh, so people, people, hire more people, right? Be willing to give up profit so you can grow bigger, okay? I would take 10% of a million, uh, then 50% of, I don't know, so 50% uh, of 100,000, right? So uh, let me break that down. A million dollars, 10%, 100 grand, right? $100,000, 50%, guess what? That's 50 grand, right? So I'd rather take the million, a lower percentage, have a bigger team, have bigger clientele, et cetera. Again, this is your business, build it how you want. But one way of actually scaling up prospecting and marketing and advertising is through people, Okay. Um, number two, softwares, leverage software. Here at Scale My Cleaning Business, we leverage softwares and also people and also ads. We, we level all three. That's why we're called Scale My Cleaning Business, right? Uh, we've mastered it. We've perfected it. We have built proven processes around it. That's why people work with us. That's why we get results like Becky here, landing a six-figure contract, uh, Gene landing $70,000 contract. And there's many more things that you guys don't even see that we don't even post about um, that people are just killing it within the program, right? So Softwares, we leverage softwares to be able to do things that human beings can also do, but it's more efficient, more effective, and also it's less of a cost, right? It's cheaper to do software if you know the right software, if you know how to use the software, which, you know, we're very grateful to have an amazing co-founder like Alex, who's a tech wizard. So he knows the ins and outs of things. If not, he will go figure it out, right? <clears throat> Number three, uh, the third way to scale things up, it's ads, paid ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, Yelp ads, all these different type of ads, right? Um, I'm not saying every time you spend money on ad, it's going to work. There's many things in regards of what makes an ad work, like your offer. Um, are you doing things in regards of targeting the right people? Uh, Evan, who's on our team here as our ad expert, I should have him come on a live one of these weekends and help you guys with Facebook ads, Google ads, et cetera. If you guys want that, you know, go ahead and message me or put a one in the chat here. So I know you guys want Evan on here for paid ads. So paid ads, like spending money to get in front of more people. It's an Another way to scale things up, right? So the biggest companies in the world, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Google, or, or, or a bunch of product-based stuff, like you see them everywhere. You see their ads everywhere. Why? Because they're spending money on ads to get in front of you, right? They don't have people just randomly, you know, coming and messaging you one at a time, right? There's a high scale of technology, aka ads that you pay money, they've built. So they put that ad in front of more people, right? <clears throat> cool, cool. What, uh, what's the best way to get commercial uh, contracts? Antoine, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm covering a lot of stuff you know, that you can go back and rewatch if you weren't watching from the beginning of ways to land uh, commercial contracts. If not, message me, man. I'd love to jump on a call with you and break down some things to help you uh, game plan a way to get more commercial contracts, right? So um, it's not as difficult as many people think, guys. You just got to know know who you want to contact, contact them, and uh, see if they're looking for cleaning. 
And if they are great, give them a walkthrough and then go out and do a bit, right? It sounds easier than it is, but you don't want to overcomplicate, uh, overcomplicate it, right? All of the information, everything you need, what's the best way to get commercial contract. If you go on Google, YouTube, you post that you will find endless amount of ways to do so. So um, go ahead, Antoine, go on Google, man, go on YouTube, right? Search that up and just freaking get involved with just learning more about how to do so and then just start taking massive action on it right don't read information don't watch this live and then go and do absolutely nothing and you're just wasting your time okay um i see a lot of ones robert wendy jacqueline nicole awesome perfect you guys are gonna you guys want evan on here i got you i will make sure I contact Evan, speak to Evan at the team call that we're going to have on Monday. I'm like, Evan, they want to see you here for paid ads and uh, we'll work something out, okay? All right, guys, that is it pretty much for today's live. Um, I have, if you guys get access to the Google Doc, which I posted in here, I'm going to do it once again. So you guys can go ahead and check out everything we covered. Um, and, and I want to give you guys an opportunity to work with us. And so on that Google doc, it gives you an opportunity to see if you'll be a good fit to work with us. Uh, so if you want to look into working with us, what it's required, who we're looking to work with, because I'm gonna be honest right now, you know, we are pretty picky with who we're working with. We're actually looking for specific cleaning owners, not just every cleaning owner right now. We're actually looking for specific people because we've found what it takes to actually succeed as a cleaning business, the mindset, the attitude, um, so those are the type of people that we're looking for. Um, so if you want to, if you feel like you have the right mindset, right attitude, and you want to work with us, feel free to message me, right? I'm always, always open to chatting and working with you guys, uh, working with us or without us. I want to say thank you so much for everybody who stayed. We have 11 plus people here. I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys staying here for the last 60 to 70 minutes um, watching our live or my live here today inside the Scalable Cleaning Business Facebook group, covering ways to promote your business. If you guys can just comment um, one in the channel starting right now, show me, and if, if you comment a one, if you got a lot of value from today's live and you want to see more lives like this, uh, if not every weekend, bi-weekly from our coaches, myself, et cetera, if you want to see more, you found value, you walked away today, with information and things that you didn't know before um, that you, you're going to start implementing within your business to grow. So give me a one. Wendy, you are awesome. No, you're awesome, right? Keep crushing it. I know you're in a program right now for self-growth. Keep on rocking. Keep on killing it. And I can't wait to start working with you, Wendy. Anton, what a one. Robert, what a thank you. Um, cool, guys. Let me see some ones, right? Show me that you guys appreciate me showing up on a Saturday for every single one of you because I appreciate you guys for showing up, right? Um, I love every single one of you guys for always looking to build your business and growing. I see a lot of the same names that are uh, inside our group that are showing up to every single live that we have. Um, so I really, really appreciate that, right? All right, cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sit here for the next two seconds or so just to see if anybody have any questions before I hop off here. Um, if you have any questions in regards to what we covered today, potentially working with us, um, or just any questions in general, mindset, sales, life, um, anything around your business, you guys can go ahead and type it in the channel here. Becky says, you guys rock. Awesome. You rock. You're killing it. Six-figure contract. That's what I love. And, and that's why I love to see um, Becky, go inside your group chat that we have here with the Scale My Cleaning Business team and share with them what you share with me today in the live. Um, <clears throat> have you dealt with pressure cleaning businesses? Um, so the type of cleaning businesses that we love to work with is businesses that are very, I would say, flexible with the services that they provide. The more, I, let me, there's like pros and cons to being very specific. Um, to answer your question, like, yes, we do work with companies who provide pressure cleaning businesses. I don't believe we have anybody that we're working directly right now that just do pressure washing, uh, uh, pressure cleaning. But what am I saying? Pressure washing um, as the only service. Um, so I don't know if I answer your, your, your question there, but again, like pressure cleaning um, and just doing all of those things, like the same way we've been able to generate hundreds, not thousands of leads for, you know, commercial and residential cleaning jobs. It's the same way that you can, you know, use whatever we cover today and actually, you know, grow your uh, pressure washing cleaning business. Okay. I don't know why I'm reading this and getting everything mixed up, but um, I would suggest 
you look into maybe providing more services, but if you're, you know, that's all you want to do, go ahead and do that. We have not worked with anybody specifically just with pressure washing, uh, but they have that within their services. So hopefully that answers your question. Woo, what a live, what a live. Thank you everybody for showing up and staying uh, down, or staying down. All right, I need to get off ASAP. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I appreciate everybody for showing up, staying to the end. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, I love and appreciate every single one of you. If you guys are looking to work with us, feel free to message me. And also on the Google Doc that I shared here, there's an option for you to actually schedule a call with myself or one of our team to see if you'd be a good fit for what we do. Hopefully you guys got a lot of value from today's uh, live here. If you want to see more, let me know. Other than that, you guys are awesome and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Later. Bye.